Hi everyone. Today's video is about nature's one of the finest creation, yellow-billed babbler. The yellow-billed babbler is a member of the family Leotrichidae, endemic to southern India and Sri Lanka. Its habitat is scrub, cultivation and garden land. The species like most babblers is not migratory and has a short rounded wings and a weak flight and is usually seen calling and foraging in groups. It is often mistaken for the jungle babbler whose range overlaps in parts of southern India although it has a distinctive call and tends to be found in more vegetated habitats. The yellow-billed babbler is common resident breeding bird in Sri Lanka and southern India. These birds have grey brown upperparts, a grey throat and breast with some mottling and a pale buff belly. The head and the nape are grey and the eyes are bluish white. The nominate race found in southern India has a whitish crown and nape with a darker mantle. The rump is straight and the tail has a broad dark tip. Indian form is more heavily streaked on the throat and the breast rather than the Sri Lankan species. Seven distinctive vocalizations have been noted in the species and the species has a higher pitched call than the jungle babbler. The jungle babbler has calls that have a harsher and nasal quality. It is a common garden bird and frequently visits urban and suburban areas. It prefers lower altitudes and drier habitats than the jungle babbler, but sometimes is found alongside it. The yellow-billed babbler lives in flocks of 7 to 10 or more. It is a very noisy bird and the presence of a flock may generally be known at some distance by the continual chattering, squeaking and chirping produced by its members. Even sometimes, all the members start chattering loud enough to irritate the human ear significantly. One member often perches high and acts as a sentinel while the remaining members of the flock forage on or close to the ground. They feed mainly on insects but also eat fruit, nectar and human food scrap. They have been known to take Calotus versicolor lizard and whip scorpions. They do not fly long distances. The maximum distance flown non-stop was about 180 meters and prior to flying, they usually gain height by moving up a tree or tall shrub. Black drungas, rufous tripais and Indian palm squirrels are often seen foraging near these babblers. The babblers wake before dawn around 6 a.m. and begin foraging. They are relatively inactive in the hot hours of the day from 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. They assemble in groups around 7 p.m. and preen themselves before going to roost. Members of a group roost next to each other with some juveniles wedging themselves in the middle of the group. When foraging, the sentinel bird calls with wings fluttering and hopping. Adder preening is a common activity, particularly in winter, and members may beg for food from other members. Yellow-billed babblers particularly like to bark and may visit bird buds in their general territories, usually around late afternoon to evening. Most of the species are seen throughout the year, but the peak breeding season is prior to the months ago, the Indian Southwest monsoon. Nests are built in trees, concealed in dense masses of foliage. The majority of the nests are built below a height of 4 meters from the ground. The nest is a small cup placed in a fork of a branch. The normal clutch is 2 to 4 turquoise blue eggs, although up to 5 may be laid by a birds in the hills of Sri Lanka. The eggs hatch after 14 to 16 days. The brooding parent often stands on the rim of the nest rather than sit on the chicks. Brood parasitism of the blabber's nest by the pied cuckoo is known from both the India and Sri Lanka. The common hawk cuckoo has also been known as a brood parasite. Chicks are mainly fed insects and occasional lizards. Like most perching birds, the parents take care of the nest plantation, removing the fecal sacs of the young, typically by swallowing them. 
Helpers have been seen to assist the parents in building the nest as well as in the feeding the chicks at the nest. Mostly, at least three years to make the young ones mature. And the lifespan of yellow bell babbler is almost 16 years. Predators of the eggs include mongoose, crows, and the great cockle, which may also prey on chicks. As the species is partially distributed in southern India and Sri Lanka, the nominate subspecies has a lot of native names. The body is known as Damalisha in Sinhala language, and in Tamil Nadu, the body is known as Dalbri Kurvi, Pandri Kurvi, Velaika Kurvi, etc. in Tamil language, and in Kerala, it is known as Kadilakili or Putangiri. Yellow built babbler enhances the nature's diversity in its beauty. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thank you.